I'm just doing this video real quick to show everybody how I balance my connecting rod and piston assemblies without grinding the connecting rods. These are the stock rods. In this case, I'm changing them out on my Toyota Supra. Here's the uh, pistons from the old engine. And these are the connecting rods that came with the new block, so I swapped them out. So you just take everything apart, and then uh, the pistons you're gonna use, what I do, again, is I line those up. In this case, one through six. And then I get the connecting rods, and I line them up one through six. And I don't have the weights from before, but um, they were a couple grams off. They weren't that bad. And then I make this chart right here, and I fill in. I weigh everything individually, and I fill in each space, add up the total, and then I mix and match them below. And one thing you want to make sure of before anything is make sure that you clean off all of the oil from the pistons all the parts in the connecting rods. A lot of times there's oil hiding and underneath the bolts in there or in the uh, oiling holes there. Just make sure they're clean so it doesn't affect the weight. So I take each piston with the piston ring and the retainer and get the weight. I write that weight down on the sheet that I created. Next thing you do is grab uh, one of your connecting rods, throw it on the scale, write down what each connecting rod weighs in relation to the number that you marked on the rod. Okay, so I weighed my last connecting rod. I wrote down all of my weights for the pistons and the connecting rods. And what you want to do is next, you just go in here and look at your chart and match up the lightest pistons with the heaviest rods and vice versa. Now I have all my weights written down of the uh, pistons, the pins, and the rods. And the idea here is to make this simple, you're just gonna match up the heaviest pistons with the lightest rods and then see what the difference is. And then you're just kind of gonna look at the numbers and see where the other ones will fit in. And the goal here is to get these numbers closer to one another. So we're by switching pistons with rods, we're going to make this real light assembly a little bit heavier, make this one a little bit heavier, and unfortunately, this is our this is our weight that's not going to change, this one here, because we have the heaviest piston with the lightest rod. The easiest way I found to do this without doing a ton of math is just go through each of the weights and just categorize each one as heavy, medium, or light. And then you go down here to the connecting rods, doing the same thing. You just match up the heavy with the light, and uh, most of the time it balances out. Just try to keep the numbers close to one another. Okay, so it looks like I got lucky, and the only thing I needed to swap was piston 3 goes to connecting rod 4, and piston 4 goes to connecting rod 3. So I'll show you what the numbers look like now. Just by matching these, I have 1165.9. 1165.8, and last but not least, this is the only one, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to remove just a little bit from underneath the skirt of the piston here. I usually go to the uh, casting marks, which don't really have any structural purpose. They're just for casting, like right there where it says Toyota. And I believe this is where the factory takes out some weight. I can see like a little, I can see like a little mark there. So I just have to take out maybe like a gram or a gram and a quarter. And as you can see, most of the work was done. I mean, they're, they're pretty much within half a gram, except for this one. Now I know a lot of machinists that use certain milling machines and stuff to lighten pistons, but in my case, I don't do it very often and I'm pretty paranoid about weakening the piston. So I use a Dremel tool like this with a little sanding drum and uh, you know that tip just to take a very thin layer off of the entire inside of the piston, avoiding the uh, obvious stress points there. And I usually go for the casting markings and the letters before anything. Like here, I really didn't take any material off. I just kind of took the Toyota logo off and a couple numbers and I already went down about half a gram 
but I basically just take a really thin layer off of the inside of the piston until I get down to the weight that I'm trying to achieve, which in this case is about 1.4 grams. I'm trying to get to 408. And to give you an idea how much material I removed from this piston, I had this piece of aluminum foil. It's just one piece about, uh, you know, six inches by eight inches. And that weighs about 1.5 grams. That'll give you an idea. That's my theory behind removing material this way is that if you remove a, a layer as thin as this aluminum foil from the entire inside of the piston, I don't think it's going to make much difference in uh, how the piston performs. That's for sure. It's just going to reduce the weight. And that's my goal here. I've seen guys take off like 8 or 10 grams, which I would be kind of nervous about. But this is how I do it. And I just want to show you before I assemble everything, the uh, piston that I remove material on side by side with the stock piston. And as you can see, it just looks like I polished it. Kind of like porting. This is definitely the more painful way to do it. For me, it's worth it. I know the car is going to be reliable. And uh, I don't like touching the skirts or anything like that but uh yeah i'm gonna put it together now and show you how much everything weighs okay so here's our before and after so if we look at our numbers here now our lowest number is 1165.8 and our highest number is 1166.5 so that is 0.7 grams difference between any one component the actual weight may vary slightly by, you know, 0.1 grams or something, because I'm gonna put some uh, paint on the piston. I'm gonna mark them. But that's pretty close, and um, I only had to remove material from one piston. Okay, so I'm finally done mix matching some uh, connecting rod bolts and assembling the uh, connecting rod piston assemblies. And I just wanted to clarify, this is static balancing, not dynamic balancing. Dynamic balancing is something totally different. This is an inline six for the Toyota Supra. And in the Supra, this makes a big difference to make sure all of these weigh the same. So that being said, that's why when you get a connecting rod set that's been match balanced, they tell you not to switch up the connecting rod bolts because each bolt can differ by like two tenths of a gram, at least in my case. And I, I use that to get my numbers closer together. Just by removing material on one, mix matching the pistons, and the rod bolts, I achieved, I mean, within like half of a gram difference in weight between each one. So I think this engine's gonna rev real nice and uh, be nice and in balance. If this helped you, uh, consider subscribing, show me some support. I just started uploading videos on this channel again after a long time. I have a lot of projects. I just uh, been really busy for a couple years, but yeah, I'll, uh, basically do a video on just about anything I build or anything that you want to see done. Just let me know and uh, I'll post it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you next time.